Guys, Mr. Bowman here. We're carrying on with algebra and the MCAT revision. This time around, all the achieved questions from the 2018 video. Let's get straight into it with question number 15 from the website. We've been told the sides of a rectangle are 2x plus 3 and x minus 2. Give an expression for the area of the rectangle when it is an 8x squared plus bx plus 4. So this here is the expanded form, which means the question is asking us to put these in brackets and expand it, and then the numbers in front of the x squared, the x, and the constant will be your answer. So let's get into that. So we've got x squared plus 3, and then we've got x minus 2. I'm going to use my rainbow method to do this, so that there is going to be 2x squared over here minus 4x, down below now, plus 3x, and then finally, minus 6. I'm going to group the ones in the middle together. So that's going to get me to 2x squared minus x minus 6. And the numbers out front, there's my a value. So a is equal to 2. Over there, b would have been equal to negative 1. And down the end, c would have been negative 6. So I don't need those. But that answer there would be the form that they are looking for. We're now moving on to question number 16. Find the value of x for 3, and then the power of x plus 1 equals 81. So 3x plus 1 equals 81. The trick with this question is to change 81 to the 3 to the power of something. So just working through that, 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 3 squared would have been 9. 3 cubed would have been 27, and 3 to the power of 4, that's where we get our 81. So I'm going to take out the 81, and I'm going to put in 3 to the power of 4. So 3, and then we've got x plus 1, that is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Because the base number is the same, I can cancel them out. So cancel, cancel, leaving x plus 1 equals 4. I'm now going to go minus 1, minus 1, which means x was equal to 3 to question number 17. Um, we've got a formula here, a equals 9 quarters of r squared. We've been asked for the equation for r in terms of a. So just a reminder what that means, we're trying to go r equals, so the r is by itself, and then you'll have something there with the a in the middle of it. So let's get into this, let's jot down to start off with. So 9 over 4 r uh, squared, what I'm going to do, just to make my life a bit easier, I'm just going to change how this looks. So I'm going to write a is equal to 9r squared over 4. Key thing is I've moved my r squared onto the numerator up there. I'm now going to do times 4 times 4, and that can get rid of this divide by 4 over here. So we're going to be left with 4a equals 9r squared. I'm now going to get rid of that times 9 by doing a divide by 9, divide by 9, divide by 9. So that means 4a over 9 is equal to r squared. After that, I'm now going to get rid of the square and do the square root of both sides. So I'll be square rooting and square rooting. So that means r is equal to the square root of 4a over 9. There is technically a bit more simplifying we can do here, but I'll leave it at that answer because it was a chief question. They weren't expecting too much of us. Question, question number 18, I'll start my working slightly in. The area of a garden is given by this particular formula. If x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2, find the area of the formula. So what this is asking us to do, it's asking us to substitute both of these into our expression. We then can use bed mass to calculate the answer. So let's jot down my expression. a is equal to 2x plus 3xy squared. I'm now going to substitute, so 2 open bracket, x is 5, so that's going to go in, and then I'm going to go plus 3 times 5 times 2 squared, so there's my x, there's another x, and there's the y squared down the end there. I'm now going to use bed mass to calculate this, so I'm going to focus on the bit inside the bracket first, so 2 squared is going to get me to 4, 4 times 5 will get me to 20, and then 20 plus this 8 out front will get me to 28. So that there is going to be 2 times 28. After that, I'm going to get 56. 
Um, I don't really have any units here, so I'm just going to write units squared, and that's because it is something to do with the area. Um, but I just wanted to note the marking schedule didn't really need the units over there. So that wraps up all the questions from the 2018 exam, the achieved ones only. Keep an eye out for the merit and excellence ones coming out shortly.